Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets this morning on uh, Tuesday, 17th of May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com and uh, gain access to the latest signals and market updates from leading providers, including myself. Uh, you can download the app from the uh, Google App Store and the uh, and the actual uh, Apple App Store too. Okay, now, or is it the Google Play Store? Okay. So with regards to the uh, markets this morning, we've had quite a um, sharp reversal uh, overnight in the uh, the U.S. markets. Certainly to uh, to the surprise of myself uh, and and many others included, because it was one hell of a reversal. You had a thirty handle or thirty handle plus move on the uh, S and P five hundred, especially when we had a H um, and S formation potentially being carved out. So U.S. markets obviously up overnight. Asian markets mixed. We've got the Shanghai lower. Uh, the Hang Seng and the Nikkei higher. Any significant data out overnight? Nothing major other than the uh, Japanese industrial production came in slightly better than expected. So, uh, all, and having said that, the RBA certainly um, held uh, steady, so certainly remained neutral. And uh, the inflation expectations in uh, the um, in in Kiwi or Kiwi Land certainly came in slightly, uh, oh, more or less in line. Okay, so RBA was certainly the real, real shock, and then it certainly has obviously rallied uh, quite substantially. Okay, now how do we interpret the uh, the actual markets now in terms of uh, the next potential move? Now, the overriding factor or the overriding bearish factor at this current junction is the S&P 500 now. It's currently at resistance at the uh, 2070 level, okay? Not only that, on the daily chart, you have this H&S formation. So whenever we have a H&S formation like this, then you are looking for a potential break and a move lower. Okay, now your HNS target would be your pivot high, which is 2110 minus uh, 2040. So let's just work this out for you. So HNS equals 2110 minus 2040. So you're looking at a 60 to 70 point drop, okay, from 2040. So looking at a 70 point drop, then you're looking at 1960. So that's the potential downside target on the uh, S and P 500. So, 1960 brings you down to 1970 with your support here, and then obviously 1950. So, this is a zone that you potentially be targeting, and that's based on uh, a number of factors here. Uh, now, uh, one that I can only discuss in the U.S. market video, but not for the European markets for now. So, just bear that in mind. The U.S. market bearish pattern is overriding. Certainly, I have done another video on the. Uh, the U.S. markets, which I've uploaded, so certainly watch the YouTube channel. Okay, now in terms of uh, economic data this morning out of the uh, European session, we've had some uh, uh, producing import prices out of CHF, uh, ECB price speech. Uh, we've had the Italian trade balance figures that have come out better than expected, and all eyes remain on the inflation gauge in the UK. We do have trade balance data for the uh, Euro eurozone and also G German bubble monthly report, which will be interesting. And then we have a barrage of U.S. data and obviously Fed members as well. So interesting uh, activity later on and uh, certainly one that to, to keep an eye out for. Now, in terms of the uh, European markets, let's see exactly where they are positioned. Uh, Euro stocks at this current juncture, daily chart. You are now back into that uh, topping tail daily chart resistance pattern. 60-minute uh, chart, you are into resistance. Now, I'm actually short the uh, Euro stocks at this juncture. Looking for a potential move lower. A 10-minute chart, certainly oversold, overbought, should I say into horizontal resistance now and looking for potential uh, gap fill. So you have gap fill below, certainly watch out for that zone, okay? If we do retrace, and obviously you are testing previous resistance equals support. So 2960 zone certainly is your first level of support on the euro stocks. In terms of the German DAX, let's just bring that up. Your 10-minute chart clearly shows that you have an unfilled gap below, okay? If we do retrace and you are testing that previous resistance equals support, and certainly needs to close. The 60-minute chart, again, horizontal resistance, so that's the zone that we're looking for. Daily chart as well, you clearly see that we have this uh, potential for right shoulder and obviously resistance as well. Now, uh, the uh, uh, Euro, European, or European equities certainly are under pressure this morning due to the fact that we've got uh, anti-QE comments uh, being emanated from uh, the opposition uh, to QE now. Uh, if I can just go back to that uh, article, which is quite important from my perspective, ECB faces renewed pressure via the FT this morning. So European Central Bank faces renewed pressure in Germany, uh, has come under pressure in Germany after a group of academics and business people find a, filed a complaint 
at the country's highest court over the monetary policy makers mass bond buying, pro bond buying program okay so repeat criticism political establishment in eurozone largest economy all the policy is opted to find the threat of falling prices senior figures in berlin claim that the bank is expropriating money from the country's savers and stoking the rise of right-wing nationalism with his actions so again socio-economic concerns uh, political concerns here as well Wolfgang Schauble, Germany's finding the claim the ECB's low interest rates were responsible for 50% of the recent gains made in local elections by the nationalistic uh, alternative for German party. So, again, this is uh, has a political ramifications, social ramifications. So, again, from my perspective, I would interpret that as being risk-off or bearish, okay? So, certainly that's an article that certainly will uh, uh, hurt and uh, dent sentiment, especially in the Eurozone. So, certainly, uh, that's one for a cause for concern, Okay. Now, that's one of the reasons why all the European indices certainly remain bearish. Again, look at the French CAC. Horizontal resistance. Looking at your 60-minute chart. Again, horizontal resistance. Okay, so you have horizontal resistance here. Okay, and the French CAC, you have the unfilled gap left below. So then again, markets will attempt to uh, close that gap. Okay, especially with regards to uh, QE criticism. So that's certainly something to uh, hold. Now, with regards to the FTSE 100, I was stopped out this morning. I was expecting a move lower on the back of Mr. Carney's recessionary comments and um, obviously Chinese data being weaker than expected but that was trumped by a stronger oil price although oil price is now coming down and that was also trumped by stronger earnings from Vodafone, uh, Premier Foods and Taylor Wimpy so th those were the reasons. Now I did expect to expect Carney's comments and uh, obviously weaker Chinese data to trump that uh, bullish argument but obviously uh, the bullish argument certainly won this morning so again uh, even with the H&S on the S&P 500 the bullish argument certainly won so Respect to that, okay? Certainly you have to give hat, but I'll take your hats off to that, and uh, certainly you have to pay homage and respect to that as well. Okay, so the FTSE itself, resistance is seen at this uh, 6206, and then you are looking at 6226, and then obviously the 200 MA at 6236. So they are these zones for uh, the FTSE 100, uh, and watch out for those zones if you do come into them. Now the daily chart has actually um, taken out that 200 MA. Uh, it's an outside bar from that red candle, certainly has breached that. If we do go higher, like I said, 6240 will be the pivot high on the FTSE 100. Now, my buy still remains bearish, given the fact that the S&P has the H&S formation. And you have the Aussie and Kiwi now for moving lower. You have oil prices moving lower. So all these factors, given the fact that recessionary comments from Mr. Carney, adding the fact that uh, you've got anti-QE's comments from Germany, etc., etc. Everything certainly seems to be adding up and uh, indicating to the downside. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. As always, uh, be sure to visit CFDs.com. Okay, they're specialists in spread breaking the CFD brokerage and they're up to two and a half thousand with the 25% cash bonus that's on offer. Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye and uh, wish you a safe trading day.